In today's business, I'm gonna break down West Shore Home. They're a contracting juggernaut doing as low as $135 million per year and reportedly over $500 million per year in revenue. But what I wanna know is how do they generate all that revenue? How do they generate all their leads? And that's what I'm gonna to deliver to you in today's video. I'm gonna show you inside and out how they go about their digital marketing so you can essentially steal what they're doing but put your own spin on it and integrate it into your business. And unlike other YouTube channels, I'm actually gonna get into the technical aspects. We're gonna do psychological breakdowns, conversion rate optimization breakdowns, Facebook and Google ad breakdowns, and we're gonna go through their landing pages. It's probably gonna be a bit of a long video, but this is where the money is made. This is how leads are generated. So let's get straight into the video. So let's start with their Facebook ads. Now they do a huge amount of Facebook advertising. They also are working with some other companies to help generate even more leads. Hence, when we type in West Shore Home into the Facebook ads library, we, we see this West Shore Home authorized partner. This is uh, a company that uh, after like, digging into West Shore Home, I actually found a lot of this like lead generation companies uh, websites and I found some really, really cool things that I'm gonna to reveal to you in this video. But we're also gonna go into their Facebook ads along with West Shore Home, the actual corporate company as well. So just quickly, a lot of volume here that like we see now that the actual West Shore Home Facebook page generating uh, their own ads here. But we see, a, you know, not the largest amount of ads that we're seeing with breakdown videos, but we see a, a fair few. Now, let's have a look at the lead generation company style ads. So first and foremost, we see very short text. So even though there's a small amount of text, we can still unpack a fair bit in terms of conversion rate optimization, psychological learnings from this small amount of text. So what we see here is three features. Also, you could say that the benefits, but probably more feature orientated. We see exceptional service, energy efficient windows installed in as little as one day. Now we're gonna see this comfort kind of convenience factor play out a lot through their marketing. We're gonna see this in uh, Google ads. We're gonna see this in landing pages as well. We also see the use of emojis. This helps capture attention, makes the ad more uh, friendly, allows to build rapport with the person viewing it, uh, and it just makes it much more engaging. One thing that the ad copy does lack is a call to action. So we see that the ad does cut off pretty quickly, but we could also, like if you were if you were doing the marketing here, you could add a call to action underneath the three emoji bullet points, but they do a really good job of making up for that within the image and also you, the, there's obviously the get a quote button and, ha and that can obviously change depending upon the, the style of button you select within the, the, the technical aspect of your Facebook ad setup. So we, we've got two call to actions here. So if you click this, you go to, they're running a, a Facebook Messenger uh, like instant form kind of combination here. And we'll get into that in just a moment, but we see a pretty good ad, pretty simple. We're not seeing any real photography here in, in this ad just here. And we don't really see it much in their ads. We, we see a little little bit here. These could honestly be uh, stock photography, these two here. This one most probably is an employee because of the blue t-shirt. Uh, and you know it's also installing a window. A really important aspect is that the copy written here is really concise and really easy to read, and you can get through it really quickly. Now remember, we're still talking about the lead generation company here and, and not West Shore Home themselves, but they could be doing a bit more testing here, trying different versions of ad copy because we see a lot of ad images changing here. I see that ad images does have the biggest pulling power in terms of getting improvements within uh, your ability to improve click-through rate, lower your cost per clicks, get uh, more conversions at a lower cost. Ultimately, that's always the goal. But that being said, it's always really important to be testing this ad copy here because as much as the ad is, the, the, the visual element, whether you're doing video or image is much more important, there is still a lot to be gained with testing the actual text copy. As we push to the right here, we see a lot of uh, payments as low as $99 per month. Now. The landscape has changed from approximately a year ago. We've had rate rises in terms of uh, you know loan repayments across the board, across, uh, pretty much right through the world. I would assume, if not the whole Western world, have pretty much increased interest rates. We also have seen in inflation drastically increase. It's making it harder for people to move into new homes. So we're seeing more people uh, wanting to renovate, but there's also that uh, you know financial 
you know, uh, aspect that's making it a little bit more difficult where payment plans, uh, interest-free terms, uh, that kind of thing is starting to pull a little bit more. It's always been very good to be able to incorporate it into your marketing, but I see it being a little bit more of an important factor because people want to have a little bit more money in the bank because people get a little bit hesitant to spend and they want a little bit more in the piggy bank when times are a little bit tough as they are at the moment. So if you do have like payment or financial terms, try to make them uh, as advantageous to the prospect as possible. If you don't, try and get them. There's tons of companies, no matter what country you're in. I work with tons of people all over the world and you know, where there's a, a way to make money uh, through like, uh, you know, lending, there's someone that's willing to, to work with you. So it doesn't matter, just, uh, just get it done in my opinion. Now I mentioned that they're using like a messenger slash instant form kind of uh, way to capture the lead information. And this is the form now, it's not the, it's not the nicest way that Facebook lays this out in the Facebook ad library, so bear with me. Uh, I could have made it nicer, but you know, there's no real uh, you know, advantage in doing that, putting that effort to make it look a little bit nicer. But the headline is low monthly payments. Again, we see that financial factor being pushed a little bit uh, more strongly than perhaps we would have seen in the past. Take a quick, a quick survey to receive a phone call today and find out how uh, you can get a free quote. So this is really interesting because like, the survey kind of uh, de-emphasizes uh, like the lead capture mechanism, so it's not making it as uh, as concrete or as uh, they're not as asking as much from the prospect. But what we see secondarily to this is a call today. Now that is a little bit anxiety inducing. It adds a little bit of friction to the prospect. Generally, you'd want to gear against that because anything that reduces the possibility to fill out a form decreases the amount of form fills that would be made by prospects. Now the contrarian thought to this, and I know this might be opposed to some of my previous videos in the past, is that it is a pre-qualification element and it will help you get a better quality lead or eat more easy uh, to contact type of lead, which makes, that your, makes your sales process so much better, but it also reinforces the Facebook uh, bidding algorithms, right? If you make it harder to, for people to fill in a form, Facebook will self-optimize to find those people that still went through the form, right? And if you're using instant forms or messenger type of ads, Facebook will f look at your targeting parameters that you're, that you're using, and it once it starts to get data, so once it starts to get 10, 20, 30, 50 conversions, it will help you optimize. Once you get through that learning period, it helps uh, you know, a great deal more. So adding these pre-qualification steps is a bit of a big deal now, in my opinion, and it's something that I'm doing a lot more with with my clients because it just makes it easier for them to contact people, it makes it easier to close, and ultimately when you do the math at the end of the day, how much did I spend and how many leads did I close and what was the total revenue generated along with profit, etc., you're gonna get a better end outcome, albeit in the mid journey, the, the total amount of leads might be lower, but at the end, it's much more enjoyable and much more lucrative. Next, we see a bit of a disclaimer by clicking consent to auto dialed or pre-recorded calls, etc. So it, like, uh, there's like voiceless, um, sorry, there's ringless voicemails that can be used to, to do a lot of lead nurturing, SMSs, uh, email follow-ups. A lot of this stuff can be automated. And I think that there's a, there's a new software out called um, Eleven Labs, which allows you to essentially record your own voice and then it allows uh, you to make uh, audio recordings using your own voice. It sounds really good. I'm going to see drastic, we're going to see drastic improvements in this. Uh, I'm not involved in the company at all, but it, it's just something that I'm seeing that these like uh, ringless voicemails are going to be, they're going to run rampant very soon because you're going to be able to personalize it. So you're going to, the person's going to be able to submit a form and say like Bren, right? So the like Bren Hamill, etc. Then the voice, the ringless voicemail is going to be able to call the person and say, hey Bren, it's John from ABC, right? It's very personalized, right? It, it, and it's all automated. So the, the the era of AI is here and it's something that I'm gonna see integrated into marketing and uh, something that maybe you wanna keep uh, you know a finger on the pulse and something I'll be integrating it as soon as I find a way to do it. Moving through the form, we're gonna see some, are you the, uh, you know, the, the owner or the authorized, uh, or are you authorized to make property changes? Yes, no. Again, we're gonna go through some really quickly, some pre-qualification questions. What's the nature of, the, of your project? Now, this is really cool and I'm gonna come back to that question more when we get into landing pages because there's something that is like, Something that I've taken from this, because I've been like looking into this lead generation company uh, fairly intently, uh, intensely over the past, say, like three months, 
And I started to do this naturally, but then they kind of add a little points of clarity for me. And it's something that I've been able to roll out that's got like really significant gains. And I'll tell stories and stuff a little bit later on the video about that. But what's an HOV project? Install, replace, new windows, repair, etc., etc. Then how soon would you like to? Again, we're going, pre going through pre-qualification. So we've got a couple of time periods here. How many windows involved? Again, pre-qualification. Is the person serious? Do they meet the threshold? So like working with like windows companies myself, it's, you know, some people only want to work with six windows or more, four or more, et cetera, et cetera. So it, it, it's horses for courses here. Like every business is a little bit different in what they want to do and what they specialize in. What kind of location it is, family, house, apartment, you know, so on and so forth. And they've got first name, last name. And then they're going pretty damn specific here. I don't go to this level, but it's something I've never really tested to be open and honest with either, but street, address, city, state, zip code. I collect phone number and email, of course. And then you've got uh, you know the privacy stuff at the end. So a pretty detailed kind of form. At one level, going to make it more, much more difficult to fill out. On another level, it's going to feed really good information back to Facebook to say, hey, it's pretty much, it's not going to, it technically doesn't happen like this way, but hey, Facebook, this is a really hard form. When we get leads, optimize. And uh, because it's so difficult, when it does self-optimize, you're going to get better quality leads. Uh, you might be paying more per conversion, but you're going to end up paying less at the end of the day when you figure it out to money spent to money generated. Now let's switch gears, still with the lead gen company here. I know this is gonna be a long video, but it's well worth it because I'm just about to touch on the landing page. One of the best things that I've been able to integrate into uh, you know, my clients' workflows and stuff, the things I do for them is about to come up. But really quickly, I'm gonna jump to bathrooms instead of windows. So again, really short text here. I wanna give you a bathroom, a new look, but have concerns about contractors, costs and more. So just pretty much hitting on the, the emotional fear there. Uh, very, very short text and we see it pretty much, again, not too much variation, if any, across the ad text, but we see a lot of variation in regards to the actual image text. So we see like, again, financial terms, we see before and afters. We see uh, like the upgrade your bathroom and pretty much appealing to bathtub conversions, uh, bath, uh, sorry, bathtub to shower conversions and so on and so forth. Let's get into the landing page again. This is the lead generation company and not West Shore Home. We're gonna, I'm gonna get onto West Shore Home and I'm gonna be able to tell you like what's happened, what I can't show you what happened previously to, to West Shore Home, but what they're doing now, but I'll be able to tell you the story. I have no proof to back it up. You just have to take my word for it, but it's still really uh, interesting nonetheless. Okay, this landing page might not look like much, but it has been one of the biggest uh, learnings or one of the things that I'm most grateful for that I've stumbled upon over the last probably six months and that is this multi-stage form. It is a great way to generate more leads. Uh, the leads seem to be a little bit more qualified as well, and I urge you to, you know, pretty much just giving it away here. I'm gonna go through the form and break it down for you, but it, it's something that is not too difficult to set up, uh, but it works fantastically well. There are, again, like you give someone a tool, their ability to, to use the tool is, you know, de dependent upon their skill set, experience, and so on and so forth. And that is really applicable here to this, you know, essentially this tool to, to help capture leads. So we don't see, a, you know, something, uh, you know, really glamorous here in terms of design, you know, remodel your shower in as little as one day. Again, we've got that speed convenience kind of factor. Then when it's rein, uh, reinforced uh, with a secondary subheadline of 18 months, no interest paid in full, free and sole, et cetera, et cetera. And then there's asterisk because you go down the pages, payment terms and, you know, all that kind of fun stuff that no one, uh, ever wants to go through and but getting onto the form what type of bath bathroom project are you looking for now this is a very non-invasive way to get the prospect to start the lead capture uh, mechanism that you have in place aka this multi-step form right now we have three options here bathtub to shower conversion shower remodel shower to bath remodel now something that's really cool here if i click one so we're just going to pick the top one for no real reason now it removes, it jumps to like a new page in a sense, it's our framed uh, technical kind of like, uh, that, that's a technical execution, the URL doesn't change. But now the page is completely blocked out of all distractions and now I've only got, pretty much is the progress bar, we've got an exit and a back button, but we move into this isolated environment to get the people, we're, we're, you know, we're greasing up the slippery slide, right, to make it really easy. The, the, you know, the guardrails are up like temp in bottom or on the slippery side, they can't get out of the lane, right? They can only fill in what we put in front of them unless they want to, you know, back right out of the process, which is fine, but this makes it much more conducive that we're going to get our desired end result, and that is this uh, multi-stage form completed. So the next question is, 
why are you looking for a remodel for your bathroom? Now, really, this is, again, just something that the prospect can easily answer. Again, they're just picking a couple of options, right? But it makes the forms feel a lot more personalized to the prospect that's filling it out, right? So when the prospect fills this out, they will feel like the business knows their situation more, so they're going to get a more accurate quote back to them. Now, it's something really powerful because, again, it's a very indirect way to capture the lead information because we're not even asking for lead information yet. So now that we've filled out a couple of these uh, options, we'll click next. Do you own your home? Very similar to the instant form, AKA Facebook Messenger uh, automated setup that this lead generation company is using. So we'll just click yes. Are you interested in discussing financing, uh, fi uh, financing options? This is pre-qualification, right? If someone says yes, you know, there could be, uh, th th depends on how they value, is this a really good lead, is it not a good lead, uh, so on and so forth to, to know, know is like, maybe they have the money, uh, not sure is like, you know, who knows what this person's gonna be, you know, uh, how this person's going to be financing the project, uh, are they a good lead, right? So it's a really interesting way, some powerful information here, but it's also a powerful pre-qualification question because when you start to talk about money and if people get nervous or they have you know, about to, you know, friction or anxiety, this is where they'll back out. That's fine because then we won't be sending that information back to Facebook, so we won't be getting you know, shit leads coming back to us. And that's what we you know, don't want. So we'll just click, uh, you know, are, we, are we interested in discussing financial? Mm -hmm. Sure, we'll, we'll discuss. Now here we start to fill out addresses. So, uh, you know, I've got a VPN on at the moment, so let's just, we'll just type in one, two, three, we'll just type in one, two, three, and we'll see what comes up, and we'll say, uh, sure, we're in one, two, three, seven, New Albany, and I'm gonna fill in my spam email address, and then just move to the next one. I'm gonna block this out, so you don't, uh, you know, spam my spam email. So the next step is, we've got some capture information, right? Now we've got that first name, last name, and we've got the phone number. So once again, really, really simple. We're still in that isolated environment, but they're making it very easy to fill this out. So I filled out the form. I've used completely fake information. That phone number is completely fake. And we'll click to the, the finish button. Congratulations, your request has been received and sent to West Shore Home. So we're sending it now to the actual West Shore Home corporate company. And a specialist will contact you as soon as possible to answer your questions about your bathroom remodel. Very simple process here. All right, let's jump to West Shore Home, the actual corporate company, like the actual real company, not the lead generation. So they do very slight, uh, much more different style of ads, right? So they've got a little bit of like quirkiness to their imagery here. We actually see like the some of the, the registration and licensing numbers. Uh, can and do appear in some of their ads. We won't see the license in some of them today, but I've seen them in the past. But we see this gentleman here in a in a bathtub, you know, dressed in these, you know, contracting kind of day to day kind of like work apparel. It, you know, he looks he looks like a contractor. You know, he's slightly dirty pants. You know, but he looks happy and stuff. He's in a bathtub. It's you know grabs attention. It's something that you wouldn't typically see. But what we do see similar is very similar kind of messaging. So the value proposition that we see and we'll see it in landing pages and we already have seen these landing pages is uh, that install your dream shower slash bath in is just one day. They're very much the speed kind of focus and discover the West Shore Home difference. A bit generic fluff there. I don't think that's all that useful. I think, you know, what's the difference? I think if you point the difference out, it's much more useful, but just saying that it's different is for lack of a no better way, just lazy marketing in my opinion. But we, we see here, uh, a really cool image, something that grabs attention. If we click learn more, we come to this landing page. So something that's a little bit different to the previous one, but we'll see some common traits. So let's rip through this as quickly as we can. Don't, don't buy more problems, get complete peace of mind instead, right? So pretty interesting kind of like headline here. It doesn't really uh, focus on the service, right? We, we see nothing about shower or bathroom. Uh, anything related to a shower or bathroom at all in the video. Uh, but we see a lot of like before and afters, right? Which is a lot of proof and credibility. We also see like real employees because we see that blue, which is reinforced with the background here, right? So we, we know that they're real. And very quickly we see on the chest of some of the employees, the West Shore Home logo, which just helps reinforce. This is subtle, like subconscious reinforcement and social proof and credit, credibility building. Uh, 
uh, influence that, that has a pretty big bearing on prospects because no one can say that this is stock photography or stock video, right? This is real. No mess, no stress, one day bath and shower replacement. So again, we're seeing that reinforcement of ease, comfort, speed. And then we come into some pretty damn poor copy, right? This is pretty, pretty average in my opinion. So no sub headlines, really long line width, right? We want to make it shorter. So uh, to get a little bit technical for 10 seconds, eyes don't move smoothly. We, f we feel that it does, but eyes actually stutter uh, a little bit as we, as we read. So if we make the, the line width shorter, it makes it easier to read. That's why we see that in old newspapers, uh, old uh, magazines. They learnt this, is the small columns are much easier to read and you also get that, hey, look look at me go, I'm like reading really quickly, but that's because the paragraphs are really kind of like short and condensed. It just makes it easy to read. It, making it like the, the slippery slide that's you know all greased up, easy to get the person to go down the slide. I'm not gonna go through this because honestly, it's just an absolute pain in the backside because I think that this is so poor and they let themselves let themselves down really, really badly here. We also see no call to action up here. So we have to scroll down, right? I don't like that. And we'll see some, uh, we'll see some better examples of what to do later on with better landing pages, but pretty, pretty poor. I, I expect better from, from this company because they do a really good job with their marketing. So that's probably the harshest thing I'll probably say about them today. But moving through, we see the features. So we offer a variety of amenities in our shower, bath, etc. So we're just going through some really like uh, feature and slash benefit orientated copy. So nothing outrageous in terms of copy here. So we state the feature and then we state the benefit. We, you know, so the, the feature is what is. So like, you know, we've got a, a processor and it's 3.2 gigahertz. Right, what does that mean? Nothing to the person that is not tech savvy, but it means that you can process things on your computer really fast. Here we've got stain resistant uh, antimicrobial materials. I do not wanna say that word again on YouTube at all, but then we move through and then we add what that means to the prospect. And we see that with these three bullet points. Then we come down, gallery look at our features. I don't think that's the greatest headline in relation to imagery, a gallery look at our features. I don't think that offers any real benefit or level of persuasion to get the person to look, but they're gonna look anyway because they're large images and they're in the scroll, right? But as we come down, you choose the style, every feature, color, palette is up to you. So here we see like an interactive kind of like video where the person can, you know, kind of like get an idea of the, demo they can see a demonstration of the design process. They can design their own, uh, you know, shower, you know, conversion here, which is kind of good. Now we, again, we see another awful attempt at copywriting, uh, but we see that the line width is a little bit more narrow. So it does, I mean, this is probably a good example, even though it's still a bit too, uh, it's still a bit too wide. It, it just looks a little bit more inviting to read. Sure, there's not as much text, but it's just horrendous. And then we see like trained experts remove, install, clean up in less than a day, have a spa-like shower ready by the evening. That speed and that convenience, it's really pushed. It's really big part of their value proposition and you need to have a value proposition. Otherwise you stand for everything, but you stand for nothing. And these guys do really well. I mean, 2,300 employees, the contracting on average generates as low as 150,000 in revenue per employee. Uh, that can be as high as about 211. Uh, new home constructions around about 360, right? So these guys, if we just round off at 200, generating around about 485 million per year. So they're doing something right. The value proposition is resonating. Next, we see a limited time offer, 18 months full, uh, 80, sorry, 18 months, no interest paid. If paid in full, again, we see the asterisks, but then we see the multi-stage form again, right? So we press continue and we see it in this version here something super cool, but we don't see a way to get down to it until we see the call to action here, which scrolls us down, which is really important. We see some moving forward through the multi-stage form, because I'm not gonna to touch upon that because I've already touched upon it, is we see reviews and these reviews look really legitimate. We see a picture of the person, we see a full name, we see the recency, we see the review, we see the stars, and we see where it was posted upon. Really, really nice, and we see an aggregated uh, uh, calculation of their reviews on each of the major, well, not all of the major, but some of the major platforms, Facebook, Google, Home Advisor, with an average of 4.7. Really good job. 
I love this like, little like, plugin that they're using here. Super, super cool. I'm not gonna touch upon any more of the landing pages on the Facebook, but what you will see here is that they're running with a fair few other landing pages. So we've got this one, for example, another one here, this is for a sweepstakes. Now, the thing that you can take away from the amount of landing pages, because I'm going to touch up a little bit, I'm going to touch upon more in the, the Google Ads portion of this video about landing pages, is that they are testing multiple landing pages, right? Because it's not if or when, like marketing costs are going up, so the CPM value, the cost to get a click or the, the cost to get in front of a thousand people is going up. The war will be won with the people that have the best marketing because they can lower the conver uh, increase their conversion rates, which will lower their cost per lead. So the same person spends the same amount of money on traffic, but one person's getting possibly twice to three times the amount. But it's also the people that have the best post marketing follow up. So like, what's their salesmanship process like? How are they automating that? We see that with like ringless voicemails, automated text messages, automated emails, so on and so forth. Those are the people that are going to win because they're going to be able to get the most amount of leads and the same amount of spend as everyone, but they're going to be able to extract more signed deals from those leads, which means that they can spend more on marketing, they can have bigger margins, and they can scale much more easily and much more quickly. All right, let's flip the switch and have a look at their Google Ads. Now, the first thing is keywords. They're the, one of the most important aspects to you know a search campaign. There are tons of other campaigns that you can run within the Google Ads platform. You can even That's where you handle your YouTube stuff as well. But just to speak upon their search, now what we'll see here is really tight grouping of the keywords that they're showing ads for that are really relevant to, to their actual service, right? So we see like Whirlpool, small bathroom remodel, bathtub combo. We don't really get outside of that core services. So we see uh, bath fitters. Bath fitters are a pretty big kind of player in this space that West Shore are going after, potentially another breakdown video. They do really good with their marketing too. And uh, it, it's something that, so they are, to wrap up the tongue twister that I've kind of like butchered myself with there is that Bath, uh, they, Bath Fitters is a competitor. They don't target too many competitive phrases, but they don't really get away from their core offerings, right? So here we're seeing a lot of bathtub stuff. Uh, we see a little bit of lows, but very much product slash service focused, really important, not much wasted spend, a little bit of like ge uh, geographical referencing. We see uh, San Jose, we see Jacksonville, etc. A really good job with their keywords here and I think the more exciting aspect is their landing pages so let's have a look at those crazy crazy uh, landing pages all right so this is still the main corporate West Shore home and these are the three major uh, landing pages that they use for their Google Ads now again the principle is here that they are running multiple landing pages at the same time because they need to be able to test what is getting the best conversion rate and the best quality of leads, right? So let's have a look at the three best ones. So we see a little bit of a microsite here. So if we click, we see scrolls down. So we get to, we, we're we quickly getting the person to the part of the page that resonates with them most. So for instance, if we say free quote, they, they know that the rest of this page exists, right? So they can scroll up to verify that, you know, hey, where's your home is the right person. But let's go through from top to bottom. So we've got, again, the financial aspect, but we also see spring savings, right? So this comes down to like the Robert Cialdini principle of reason why, adding, well, he talks about the word because with his photocopier experiment, but just to offer, a, you know, like a sale or some kind of incentive for no reason behind it doesn't work anywhere near as well as when there is some a topical reason or a reason uh, behind it. Here, for example, we see that there's spring savings, right? This is all, uh, you know, the, the reason is spring. Now, as we scroll down, we see invest in, in your comfort and safety with walk-in, shower, and conversion. So very much appealing to that older demographic because, you know, they want to be more comfortable. They're worried about slipping over in the shower, you know, all that kind of stuff. So again, this is speaking directly to the person uh, that they're trying to attract, right? Again, this is not really uh, pointing out um, the product or service until we get to the second line of this headline. So again, you know, we're, we're trying to resonate with the emotion, the, the, the dialogue that's happening, happening within the prospect's mind. As you come down to like, uh, which would technically in copywriting terms be called the lead, um, some people might refer to it, some crazy people might refer to it as a sub-headline, but walk-in showers are, this, are, this, are safer, easier to clean, and more accessible uh, for you at any stage of life, right? So we're not saying, hey, old people, right? At any stage of life, it's like everyone's applicable because you don't want to point out problems 
to, to someone. Hey, you're getting old. You're going to slip over in the shower. Don't. I'm obviously, you know, being a bit crazy on purpose to emphasise the principle here. But really good, like opening first sentence here. Hits upon the emotion. Very similar. It reinforces the headline, which is above it. And then we move into the second uh, sentence. Convert your tub to shower today with our fast, easy, convenient installation process, which is their value proposition, right? We've seen it time and time again with their Facebook ads, their other landing pages, and we see it again here. Now we see a little again before and after demonstration kind of like video here. As we come down, we see much better use of copywriting here, a stress-free process designed for you. Line width much shorter, much more easy to read. The line height, uh, sorry, the, the height between the lines, the line height could be a little bit better, like a little bit more spaced out, makes it again a little bit easier to read. But then we see like a very much a visual dynamic kind of uh, visual representation of the process. So we the, the, essentially like the, demo, the, the demolition in the first two steps and then the finish and hay clean up as well. So it all comes across really, really nicely. Now this is the first point where we see like real, other than that plugin that I harped on about earlier, why 100,000 plus customers have chosen us for their shower conversion project. That is a big number. It takes a very long time to earn a thousand customers and to, to be able to say that you have done that means that you're doing something right. And it, it's something that is really, really powerful. It's something that they could use within their ad text uh, and I, some of it probably not that strong with in my opinion but we see some really quick um you know text to back it up so 2006 and you know i'm not going to read this because it's a little bit redundant you can read that yourself we see some bullet points so fast feature then we add the you know the dimensionalized kind of benefit easy convenient mm -hmm. then we see the get the best fit for your lifestyle again we see one of these little interactive videos that make it really easy to digest the you know the visual representations of what the service entails you know, for the prospect that's willing to, you know, get this work done. So then they talk about here, you know, we can update your shower system with that easy, low threshold PAM. So again, we're just talking about like the product slash service in and of itself. We see some, you know, uh, like visual elements, but bullet points just to reinforce some of the features here. Mold, mildew resistant, uh, easy, low step in. Again, speaking really softly, but directly to that older demographic that are most applicable to these walk-in shower amenities so then we see some of the safety features grab bars shower seats again this is all stuff that is really applicable to that older demographic uh, so really cool ways that we see that we see before and after is the whole process we see demonstrations we see like the feature and then you know again the benefit uh, in terms of the copy to the right we we see the uh, interactive way that you can design your own um, shower which is cool but we've already seen that previously we see some much nicer designs here than we see in some other landing pages uh it in my uh, in terms of shower conversions in my uh non-professional opinion but uh, so i'm going to move past that here we see over twenty thousand five star again credibility by numbers so we had a hundred thousand and then we now we've got twenty thousand five star reviews we see again that plugin being used which is super super cool uh, I really, really like that. One of the things that I see here that I've stressed about this for years on my YouTube channel, and these guys are finally doing a really good job here, is that they've added value to the form. Are you ready to get started? Fill in the form below, receive a no cost, no obligation quote. So taking the stress, anxiety, friction away from the selling process. They also say what happens next, right? Before the form is filled out. So schedule your free estimate. You can also give them a call. Meet with a trained consultant, no hassle, one day installation they kind of in a way tell you what's going to happen when you fill out the form really really good landing page here and uh i think that there's a lot of things to learn uh you know and, and pull out and implement into your own marketing but let's move on to the next one because you know times are ticking and uh no pun intended but there is a timer on this one i did not mean that in one in one way or another that was completely coincidence and but again moving into this one I don't think that this one is as good above the fold, right? They do some things that are better, but the headline is awful. I don't think it's relevant. This should be the sub headline. Uh, and we see that backed up with other, um, uh, in, in the previous landing page, I should say, sorry. But what we do see is some like de-emphasized call to action. So you can download the brochure here. If I click that, it actually does load the brochure immediately. And I think that they could target more feature, but definitely more emotional based uh, and, and hit that value proposition 
earlier in um, this landing page here. They do have um, you know, a calendar here, so there is some urgency, right? But they don't offer any reason for the urgency, right? So reserve this special before it's gone, but why is it gone? It's the end of the month, but well, why is that a thing? Like there's no reason, there's no Robert Cialdini you know, reason why here, there's no, you know, the big course. Um, I think that's pretty poor. So again, we see here 17,000 plus reviews on the other landing page, we said uh, 20, on the other page said 4.7, here we've got 4.8, 100,000, that's consistent. Uh, here we see like a really uh, quick way to differentiate themselves through a table. So West Your Home, and you know, it's just free consultation. Yes, yes, hassle free, no experience. Of course, you know, they're just making out the other, the, you know, the other company to be, well, there's not even another company, but everyone else is really bad at these things, but we're, you know, we're fantastic. So the one, uh, the one day uh, install video, again, we see that same quite, uh, style of video. This scrolls us down to the multi-stage form, but it's like, an, it's like a, it's a drop down format of it, which is pretty interesting. We see some larger imagery. I like the size of this image. Um, it's just, you get a really clear idea of like, you know, it's a nice, it's a pretty nice shower. Um, you know, and it's got the safety features, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe there's a bar behind that one, but there's a seat and, you know, women can put their feet up there and shake their legs and stuff like that. So uh, not that, that's all that important to me, but it's important to uh, people, well, women. Uh, but moving through, uh, Premier One Day Bath and Shower Replacement. Again, we see a lot of that. Uh, the, the headline for the bullet is the feature and then they add the dimension um, benefit kind of orientated copy uh, below it, which is super cool. We see the brochure. They're trying to get as much interaction here, right? So the, the more things that you interact with, the more likely you're going to become a lead. And you can measure this within analytics with, with, uh, with events um, using the Google Tag Manager, which I really recommend. I think that this is a real letdown here, this... Um, this testimonial area. I think that you should be using the previous plugin. It's much, much better. It's much more persuasive. It's much more real. Uh, and you know, who is Re Rebecca Brown? It could be made up name, right? I just don't like that at all. We see the multi-stage single line form, uh, really low key here. I have personally not tried this yet, but it seems somewhat interesting. I don't see the lead generation company doing it, but I do see the main website. Lastly, but not least, is this bathroom remodeling one. Let's rip through this as quickly as possible. The number one bath and shower remodeling company says who, Bren says. They do not back that up, but still, it's a really good headline. And then at West Shore Home, we specialize in custom bathroom remodels for any home, etc., etc. So, you know, I don't think, I think this is pretty good, better than most, but not great because they're not adding any proof to back up the number one claim. Uh, you know, this is very much a we copy. We specialize in custom bathroom models. So what every bathroom company in the entire world specializes in bathroom models. That's the damn essence of their business, right? So you select the style accessories, right? Well, who else would do it? It's always my business. There's a lot of redundant crap here, I think. Uh, pretty poor paragraph in my opinion. But again, we scroll down if we click that button and it's a moderately long but really easy to navigate landing page. So we see like the, the, the right left or left right out, whatever you want to put first style of copy here. Again, bathtubs. Again, we see that we style of copy. Again, we style of copy, I don't like that. I think that the copy here is pretty poorly written, but nonetheless, um, it's okay. It's well laid out, which is, probably saving it a tiny little bit. We see a lot of like um, customer pro uh, customer projects. I do like the phrasing of customer projects. It kind of like reinforces that, hey, these are real projects. They're not fake, they're not stock photography. Uh, it, I know it seems a little bit you know, pedantic or redundant to say, hey, I actually have to say this, but better being said than not said in my opinion. Again, I don't really like this testimonial when you compare it to the, the plugin that we've previously seen we see here the 18 month, you know, the financial terms that they uh, speak about a little bit more. We don't really see that up here as much. Uh, I think that, you know, they're possibly testing different things where we see so many different types of landing pages, but uh, custom designed by you, well, obviously. And uh, and then we see some tile patterns, some, you know, some color palettes and with walls and stuff. And then we've got safety features and accessories and, you know, things of that nature. Then we've got like, um, the, the element of urgency back with the timer and then we move into that multi-stage form 
Uh, one thing that I should have mentioned, but let's jump to it, is the paid ads. Now, here, this is from the main website, the main corporate website, not the uh, lead generation company. No hassle one day installation, tub to shower conversions, affordable bathroom renovations, right? So again, we're hitting that value proposition of no hassle, convenient, comfort, um, uh, speed, right? Done quickly. That's their, that's their real uh, core value proposition that we see with the bathrooms. And I, I had a look, they do run some Windows stuff, but not very often on the Google Ads side. But I sometimes I see it, sometimes I don't. It is a little bit harder nowadays to, uh, to, to, to get a really good representation of Google Ads um, through these tools here. But, you know, we'll push on. And then like with the with the copy here, we see like West Shore Home provides expert bathroom renovation services. I think that this is pretty generic. Um, you know, you know, West Shore Home provides expert bathroom renovations. Every damn bathroom company says that. So they've moved away from their value proposition. They haven't substantiated in any sense because of the headline above. Uh, we see contact us today for a free consultation and quote fast installation. Okay, it's pretty much a call to action here. We're bring we're being bringing happiness to homes for years with affordable window. Remodel. Oh, there's a window one there. Uh, third one I should have seen it earlier. But here, like they've, they've served a hundred thousand customers. Twenty thousand have given five star reviews. Why isn't that in the ad copy? Like, it's just perplexing. Like, maybe it's like easier when from your outside looking in. But this is this is stuff that needs to be done. Like, th these are really big credibility movers. No one really, not many other companies in the United States can say, hey, we've served a hundred thousand customers. Even less can say it in the contracting or construction space, right? I think it's a letdown because you're essentially saying it in a really dumb, low persuasive way, right? So I just don't think that's a great idea uh, or it's well written. Bathroom renovations, renovate your bathroom in 2023. So put the time element there. Get, get the bathroom you've been dreaming of. I mean, dreaming of, I mean, every damn person says that in kitchens and it just it's just everywhere. It, um, it, it works, it, it's like the, it's average, right? It's not great, but it's average. That you know, get the kitchen you've been dreaming of. Blah blah blah. It's it's not great. Schedule a consultation. That's a call to action. Browse the variety of shower and bath options for your home. That's interesting, right? Because we're giving the person uh, choice, the, the the ability to customize the process a little bit. Um, interesting. Again, we see that we've already said that here with the free quote element. High quality showers. Okay. Um, that's fine, but we, we don't see anything around proof or credibility here. So, I mean, overall, not too bad, um, but I think these ads can be a fair bit better. Uh, with that being said, though, I'm going to wrap up the video because we're going to, you know, we got into a bit of a long one. But if you want help with your contracting or construction business and you want me to help you, reach out to my website at Brenhamel, uh, sorry, brenhamel.com. I should know my website. Uh, and you know, there's a free form that you can fill in. There's also links in the YouTube video description below. If you just want to have a chat about what's going on, what's working in your, uh, you know, in your space in the contracting construction field, whether it's new homes, whether it's windows, bathrooms, landscapes, etc., I'm keen for a chat. Even if you don't want to work with me, that's perfectly fine as well. With that being said, if you have any topics for videos in the future, whether it be a technical execution or something, or whether it's a business breakdown like this one, hit me up in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching.